If you want to skyrocket your productivity, then you have to apply this technique to really make the most of your time and to really optimize everything that you're doing. First of all, track your time. Write down what you're doing and when you're doing it for just one day. I'm not asking you to do it for a whole month or several months or even a year, just one day. Write down what you're doing and when you're doing it. Now, what this exercise will do is shock you because you'll realize that you're wasting a bunch of time doing things that aren't really helping you, not making you any happier, not making you enjoy your day anymore, but rather you're just falling into autopilot. And if you don't discover what you're doing on autopilot or you don't bring awareness around it, you're going to continue to do it. No matter how much you try to push yourself, no matter how many new habits you try to take on, you will slip back into old patterns. And awareness is the key to really unlock your behavior and to really take control back you see because when you raise your awareness when you see what's going on you will then start to think about it and feel it and question yourself because what doesn't get recorded or tested or measured goes really unnoticed and when it goes unnoticed it gets neglected and then it just continues so you're not really in charge of your own time and your own life if you haven't yet audited it so audit it then what you'll want to do is question your list and look at everything that you're doing and really start asking yourself okay is this productive is this helping me not only the activity itself but the way you're doing it matters a lot too right if I go out and record a video or if I'm you know working with a client but I just spend time with them and I'm not actually helping them get a result or helping them through their challenges then that's not good it's just time spent doing the thing if I'm out here recording but I'm not solving a problem for you or helping you or giving you something of value then that doesn't really serve anyone and it just is wasted time so is the thing you're doing a good thing but then are you doing it just for the sake of doing it or are you also doing it to actually have some type of impact is it meaningful now you can start getting a little bit idealistic so look at the list that you just made look at where you just spent your time and then write out the way that you'd want to spend your time what's the perfect day what would you be focused on what would you spend your time doing and then how would you spend your time on that thing would you just go through the motions or would you be invested would you be energetic and emotional and charged up how would you show up to each activity that matters a lot too then you want to ask yourself does this get me what I want does this actually move me closer to the things that I value in my life or does it maybe even pull me away or just keep me where I'm at does this move the needle and if it's a yes then take that and you know you've got things right and you know that this is how not only you should do something but also the right thing to do and also the fact that it moves you closer to your long-term goals your aspirations your ambitions the things that matter to you now before I give you the final trick to make Make sure that this whole system really works for you and is effective I just want to let you know that if you want to work with me personally and you want to get coaching mentorship from me and also be in the community filled with amazing people then go to eraphael.com where you can schedule a consultation call with me personally we'll talk see where you're at in your life where you want to go next and how I can help you get there so the final trick to get this all working is really just to put it all out no so the final trick I don't know so the final trick to get this all working and to make sure that you actually implement it is to lay it out in your calendar. I like to use Google Calendar to make this work for me. So I just digitalize it and I put each event and hour by hour blocks of how I'm going to spend my time. And then I also add in the intention of how I want to show up. And then I add in the outcome of where this actually gets me in my life. And if it gets me closer to my goals, I want to make sure that I know which goal it's getting me closer towards. So if you do those three steps and you lay it out that way, you can also do it by hand if you don't want to do it digitally, but really it just solidifies it, it makes it real and all of a sudden you've not only audited your time and your productivity and where you're really spending your energy you've also understood how you're doing it and how you're showing up you've understood whether or not it contributes to the long-term outcomes that you want in your life and now you have really control of your day in a way where you will get what you want in the long run be happy enjoy the journey doing it and you know that you're doing the right things hopefully this helped you out I'll catch you on the next one